Hi, I'm Jez, and Anwar has asked me to talk about Bitcoin. So, what is Bitcoin? So, Bitcoin is a digital currency and asset class that we can uh, save or store or spend or send to each other. And it can be done without a bank. So, I could send Bitcoins to you, and a third party doesn't have to be involved. So... It is uh, um, usable everywhere? Uh, yes. It's, the, it, it's not based anywhere. It's a decentralized currency, and um, it is maintained by the miners, and the miners are a group of people that run computers running the Bitcoin software, and their reward for running this software is they get a small amount of Bitcoins as they um, use their computers to uh, authenticate the network and to authenticate all the transactions on the network. So, to you and me, we can be paid in Bitcoins, we can keep Bitcoins, we can spend Bitcoins, and it can be done in seconds just uh, over the internet. You don't need a bank account, you don't need a credit card, you don't need anything. So, the, you don't need a credit card. That, that's a no. little bit, you know, um, I guess good Come news for us. Yeah, yeah. no, good, good news for us because yeah. we don't have credit cards in Sudan. Right? Right. Uh, because of the American sanctions and so on. Really? So, okay. Bitcoins could be a, a good replacement yeah. for... Yeah, very good. Uh, so, uh, to buy Bitcoins, you need to buy them on an exchange, or you need to find someone that already has Bitcoins and buy them from that person. So, uh, so the first step is you need to find a supply of Bitcoins. So, um, if we don't have a supply in Sudan... Well, there might be. If you look, um, there's a website called localbitcoins.com. You can go there and put in your address, and it will tell you if anyone local to you has the Bitcoins they want to sell. So, that might even be in Sudan, too. Uh, but certainly, anywhere else in the world, uh, so, there's probably someone selling them. And then, if not, if you have Internet access, you can go to one of the exchanges. The biggest one is called Mt. Gox. That's mtgox.com. Uh, there's one, bitstamp.net, there's um, tradehill.com, there's btce.com. So there's a few of these. These are exchanges run as companies, and they will buy and sell bitcoins for other currency. So can I use the, you know, the Sudanese currency to exchange? I don't know. No, you don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But you could certainly use dollars or pounds or euros. Um, but I don't, I don't know if they accept Sudanese currency. Yeah, and then I can, you know, run my business based on the bit, yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, right? you could. And in fact, there's a company called BitPay.com that um, does the payment transactions for merchants so that anyone that has a current uh, online store, uh, they could convert from dollars or pounds into Bitcoins and allow their customers to pay in Bitcoins, and it will convert automatically back into the local currency as you make the purchase. So it makes it easy for for people to transact. Okay. Thank you so much, Jill. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> pleasure, Anwar. Yeah, pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you.